Hello everyone and welcome back to Master of Orion and our Let's Play with the 5X Ultimate Balance mod. I'm Mal and I'm once again joined by Mr. Sabouts. Mr. Sabouts, how are you, sir? How are I'm you? I'm fantastic, Mr. Mal. <laughs> so, just a couple of FYI things, people. First off, there was a patch today uh, where you recorded this towards the end. It's towards the end of... What is it? What is today? Uh, Thursday? A, is today the 30th? April... April 25th. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say There was yes. a patch today, uh, which is version 55.5, I think. Something like yes. that. Uh, you like all these very specific details I have? I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll, I'll I'll link the patch notes in the description of the video. I'm sure Sabouts will do the same thing. Uh, but the biggest thing is that, and we'll see here... Uh, as we go through, the biggest thing that I that jumped out at me was beyond a ton of fixes, is that hopefully it will speed up the turn times. And like I said, we'll see that in just a moment. Um, it's also important to note that some of the uh, key modders, particularly the person that built this mod, the 5X Ultimate Balance mod, uh, Spud Dasterly, he worked, um, I guess, with them. Um, on that uh, patch, which actually, I don't know about you, but for me, that, that actually gives me hope that there's lots of good fixes in it. Yeah, me too. I think that uh, that's pretty awesome to hear because we know that his mods are uh, extremely well put together and it's a lot of fun and uh, very well optimized. So uh, hearing that he was working on the mod made me feel pretty good inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I guess the other dev, who I'm not, I'm not as familiar with him, the other modder is... What's his soul? I think is is his name. I um, or her name, um, but I, I don't know that that person. But I guess also worked on it, uh, which is cool that they grab these people. I don't know. It's kind of strange that they grab these modders to work on it. But hey, hats off to them. That was actually a good decision on their part. Yeah, that's a pretty um, good move, I'd say. I, that hasn't uh, wouldn't be the first time that a company has done that. I'm sure it won't be the last. I mean, modders are usually pretty passionate individuals, and they actually have a pretty good understanding for the game. So. Whereas Wargaming might feel a little burnt out with Master of Orion, you know, the modders are still pretty fresh with it and enjoying it. So it's good to know yeah. that the game, that this patch was kind of in their hands. Which is, yeah, which is good. I mean, I won't, I, I mean, I won't play this game again, I don't think, without, uh, with, without the 5X it, balance mark. It's the only like, I way. I just don't see myself doing it. Yeah. It fixes so many, um balance issues and add so many things that are interesting that yeah particularly the changes to the tech tree that's probably the biggest thing yeah exactly humans are dead human oh you're such a stud <laughs> <laughs> good job dude good job uh, love it goodbye um, humans okay so i guess let's let's go to the next because it was taking us like what almost two minutes for a turn to cycle let's let's see if this is the real deal i gotta fight like one thing over here yep i'm also fighting some Alarian star bases and whatnot, and then still bombing planets like it's cool. Have any other ships I need to move around? I'm trying to remember what the heck we were doing. I mean, I know we we're at war and all that, but okay, there we go, and I'm on to the next one now. Okay, uh, I'm cycling. Yeah, so you were pushing towards uh, Achille or whatever. Yeah, I'm there now. Oh, good. So. so they can't really do anything about that. I don't think they could anyways. I think their military is pretty much shot at this point. Yeah, it is. I actually... So a lot of a lot of the um, like the weapon display stuff, like how, how much firepower something gives and chances to victory and things like that, are that was one of the things that was addressed in this patch too, just so you know. So oh. they should be a little bit more accurate. Okay. Which is cool. That's all good. Got about 15 seconds in so far. Wow. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it is. Cons it is. Oh, wow. Considerably. Oh. It's considerably quicker. Yeah. It's considerably faster. And you could, and anybody okay. who's watching, you could go back and watch the other videos if you haven't forgotten yeah, just how go slow. <laughs> yeah, just step, step back an episode and you'll see. Wow. Okay, cool. Maybe we can get more than five turns in this episode, mm, then. That would be awesome. That would be kind of badass, right? Yeah, Let's we're moving right along, so. Words. Okay. 
they reworked, I think, pollution a bit too, if I remember from the patch notes. There was a lot of changes. Like I said, we'll we'll link it in the description of our videos for you folks, but there was a ton of balance changes that were done and fixes, so just scope that out. Well, I guess I'm gonna build more um I'm gonna build more battleships then. That's kind of what I'm doing, just pumping all sorts of stuff out. I had started building this second fleet with the intention that it would be kind of like a backup. But, yeah, it's not really a backup now, because it's almost as big as my other fleet, so I guess that's a good thing. So if we decide we do want to fight the Trillarians, who are about to get smashed, by the way, there's a huge Interran fleet about to destroy their homeworld again. Really? That's awesome. They're having bad times. Over yeah, there. they haven't had much luck. That's all right, though. Wow. Boy. I just, I just crushed this place. I didn't even lose a ship. Pretty cool. I'm building a second fleet, like, in my home territory. I've almost got another planet completely destroyed. I'm kind of just, like, doing a scorched earth. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. with the with the Ilarians. You know, I'm taking some planets here and there, but for the most part, I'm just scorched earthing everything. I love... I know you don't have to, so don't tell me in the comments. Don't be that guy. <laughs> but I love destroying the planetary shield. Which, actually, I think you should have to destroy the planetary shield before you land troops. Makes sense. I mean, we all saw... I, I think, think we all saw Star Wars Rogue One, so I think we all understand you know, how this works. Well, it depends on what kind of shield, though, in truth. Because then if you think about in Empire Strikes Back, mm, yes. they could land... Well, actually, you know what? That's right. The entire planet wasn't shielded. That was the difference. The rebels didn't have the whole planet shielded, so they were like, prepare to drop our troops beyond their energy field. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's how nerdy we are, people. We can debate. <laughs> <laughs> we can debate that stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm geez. excited for the the uh, next one in December. Oh, right? I am, yeah. I know a lot. Of, there's a lot of mixed feelings between the Star Wars movies right now. But overall, I mean, I've always been a fan of it. And even if the, you know, even if the newer movies might hit or miss a couple points here or there, it still doesn't mean that I don't uh, enjoy them. I'm, I'm more than happy with how it's all coming together. Well, I don't know about all this hit or miss stuff. I loved it. So. Good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad because I loved it too. Really. <laughs> oh, I did. I, I think really a lot did. of the people who didn't like it they just aren't aren't. They just don't enjoy it out of pure, pure principle. They're just not enjoying it because other people are enjoying it, and they must be different. <laughs> Yeah, you know it has its flaws here or there, but I I really liked it. It, it filled all you know. It filled all uh, my expectations. And Jar, I mean, Jar Jar Binks that, wasn't in it, so that's all that matters. Well, yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what's interesting? I wonder what like I, I watched the trailer and you know I was a big expanded universe guy, which I know is no longer a canon, but they borrow a ton of stuff from the expanded universe from the books in particular. So I wonder if when have you watched the trailer for the for the for the last? Year? I, you, I'm assuming you have. I actually haven't. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hmm. I've just you, I've you just wanna, it's 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 a minor spoiler if I tell oh, you this. Oh. It, it's minor though. I okay, mean. go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell I just you met because you I just met it. the Belrothi for the first time. Are you serious I'm, on turn three hundred and thirty seven? I'm dead serious. <laughs> for the first time, I finally met him. <laughs> Hello, space bears. Hello. Wow. Hilarion's coming in with a pretty heavy fleet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Where I wasn't at? expecting that. Where's it at? I mean, it's... it's uh, It beats my defense by a lot, actually. It's over in Camellus. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you're going to crush the hell out of them, dude. I think so, yeah. I got a lot of firepower. It says... You're almost equal in defense, and you have 18,000 offense. It says, yeah, it says I'm favorable, dead. so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Crush them. Crush their face. I didn't even lose a single ship. 
Yeah. I don't even think I, I took. I don't even think I took damage. N none of my ships took damage. That. F that feels like. <laughs> You think something's wonky? I don't know. That I, I, I didn't lose any ships either, so you know, who knows? Huh. That's well, we, we got we got some unknown stuff here because uh, just as a reminder for people, we are using the five X Ultimate Balance mod, but we're using our own version of it. Um, Spud was kind enough to create a version for Sabouts and I with some feedback that we had given him um, and to ensure that if he made another update that it wouldn't break our save. So we could be having some kind of weird interaction between our unique version of the 5X balance mod and this new patch. So yeah, we're more invincible now. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't really... No, I think I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I don't think that was what happened. I think we just got. I think it just had a really lucky because really it, it is proportional. They might have like a good defense and everything, but we don't know what their ships really have. We might my, my ships might be way better equipped, might be quicker, better better targeting units, better weapons. I mean, we've been kind of beelining. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming your ships are way. Better. Oh yeah, and, and we stole a ton of tech from a couple of different. I, I stole some more tech too. We've just been stealing tech and whatnot, so. I'm not worried. I don't think it was anything weird. I think it was just um, a really good roll. But if it happens, you know, back to back to back, then we'll know. Uh, but we don't know until we try. All right, I'm going to the next one. Okay, I'll be right there with you in a second. And just check in something. You just crushed that fleet then, right? Oh yeah, I wrecked it. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's so dead. It's so like hard dead. It's are you saying it's dead like disco? It's definitely dead like disco. It's it's sleeping with a space fish. <laughs> hey, I got another planet from the Ilarians. Go ahead and set some stuff on it. There we go. I'm moving right to the next one. Yeah, these turns are uh, processing considerably quick compared to the uh, last. <laughs> the Borathi won an alliance. Sh should we let him in? Nah. No. Die, space bears, die. Yeah. Okay. It's just gonna be us. And, it's gonna be us until the end. Decline. We don't. We don't want you. We don't want you stinking. They're like, space but bears. we hate the same people. How could yeah, this we happen? Don't we don't need you for. We don't need you for victory, space bears. We don't need you. You know, space bears really. I mean, worthless. Oh, is that a Trillarian ship trying to colonize a planet nearby me? I have one empty system. Wow. The Trillarians just offered me like a ton of stuff to declare war on the Bolarathi. The Trillarians? Yeah, they just offered or me. The Elarians. The Trillarians. They offered me it. plasma torpedoes, planetary flux shield, Achilles targeting unit, pulsar, universal antidote, Gaia transformation, and 291 credits. Take it! Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks! Thanks, thanks, space squids. We appreciate it. I know, it. it's like... <laughs> it's like, oh, the Belrathi, you want me to clear war on them? Oh no, not the Belrathi, they might... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's like, really? They might eject the space trash on me. It might... If you can trade some of that stuff, you should be oh, able to. Oh yeah, I'm sure I can. I'll actually I felt like for I felt I felt like for a second you were gonna say, Yeah, sure I can. I'm not going to. I'm not going I to. If, I but felt I, like you were gonna for a second and then I thought you were gonna do like a little evil laugh. Sure. Not maybe. I mean sure I can. I'm not going to, but I I could. <laughs> I, it's something it's a mechanic in the game and I could do it. It's an option. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But I'm gonna send you this, I declare war on you. <laughs> Don't do it, buddy. Don't <laughs> Why do would it. you do that? Uh 
what happened to the love? <laughs> it's supposed to be, bro. That's just putting a lot of this. Oh wow! Look at look at all that stuffs. Thanks. Yeah, I had I had a stash going. I guess it's all right though. Yeah, the Plantry Flex Shield's pretty badass. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice, actually. Well, I'm gonna use my other fleet. This is kind of silly. Like, I haven't been, but I don't see any reason why I should not be using it. I've got, uh, yeah, I've got a few fleets floating around. I don't like the Trillerian colony ship over here, but all right, gonna go ahead and attack these guys. There you go. I lost some ships that time. Did you? Yep. So I, I almost lost a ship that time. So yeah, it's working as intended. That just means I got really lucky last time. <laughs> or just really well-built sh ships, which is, of course, a possibility. Took over a planet that has space bears on it, ironically. Nice. Oh, probably because they were at war for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm guessing. <laughs> they're building, you know, they're, they're 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 trying to build a defense up. They they've got them around their home planet and stuff, but I don't think it's going to do them any good. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's viable, right? And if they put it, all the ships together that they've got free floating everywhere, they actually would stand a chance. But they'd much rather just have a bunch of free floating small fleets instead of any large big ones. So that's fine by me. I'll just keep wrecking their planets for fun. I'm cycling. Okay, they've got. They've got like 18 planets left, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, they're well stacked. I'll give them that. More than that. But we just, uh... We hit like the end game and we're just running away with it. Like somehow we turned into the Borg, we just like kicked their door in. We're like, we're here. I know. Oh, resistance is futile, scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm getting so many notifications of like population growth and stuff being built that like my entire right bar gets completely spammed. Yeah. Does that happen for yep. you now too? That's a, yep, it happens for me as well. I try to queue up as That's much cool. as I can when I can, but. Any, and at this point, I'm actually just throwing a lot of planets. If they're not producing ships for me, then I'm just throwing them onto uh, trade goods. Because there's just, yeah. I've got nothing else. You know, I throw a few guys in science and I just throw the whole planet on trade goods. You know, or I might do a little bit of transformation. Like, I'll do a Gaia transformation for this planet, because why not? It's not doing anything else, and it's too far away. That's not going to do me any good to have it... Um, Producing ships. All right, let's drop some bombs. Maybe uh, on their moms. Nice. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot.
Let me know when you cycle, because I'm doing a bunch of stuff. Alright, um, in a second. Alright, I've got planets with a little bit. Okay, that's getting cleaned up. Make sure I've got pollution under control, and it looks like I do. Here's a planet that's having a little bit of an issue with pollution. And I'll start Gaia transforming things that too that don't need to be um, doing anything else really. My home planet's actually already Gaia. Alright, next turn. Choose research real quick here. Um, hmm. We can get plus five command points, hyperspace communications, add command points for each star base, battle station, and star fortress. Or I can get us hyperspace sensors. Which one's this? I'm thinking this is multi dimensional physics research. I can get hyperspace sensors or communications. I don't think we care about the sensors, do we? Um, no, I think. Just more, com just more command points? Yes, yeah, I mean... I mean, not that we're using the ones we Actually, have. I am over my command points. Oh, are you? I am, okay. I just realized that. Okay, well, then you won't be in just a second. Let me trade this to you. I wasn't even paying attention. I've just been pump pumping ships out. I'm not far over. I'm only, like, a few. Seven be none over. over. here in just a second. Yeah, You'll but that will be none over. The examiner. There you go. Yeah, I have. I'm. I'm now 184 out of 409. So I, there's not much risk of. Oh yeah. <laughs> of going over on command points. Yeah, I'm 423 out of 516. Yeah, so looks like we're gonna be okay. I then. think we'll be all right. I think we will be all right. I took a quill, eh? So. That's a thing. You did take it. Yeah, nice. Good. We don't have to worry about. A stupid portal. portal at this now, point, are you technically think. allowed to go through it because you you're in the system? Oh, I have no idea. Let me check that out. Just send, like, a random, like, destroyer or something through. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, we've got a job for you. It's an extremely important to the fleet. <laughs> some, like, some like younger lieutenant commander who's only had his first command for a short amount of time. We He's guarantee. all eager. He's like, oh, that's great. I would love to serve in that capacity. He's like, oh, okay, good. Well, that we works. can't. We're glad that you're glad. Guarantee that you're going to go down as a hero. I'm, I'm going to try to assassinate some of the Illyrian leaders just for kicks. Because why not, right? I say go for it. Choose what mystery is. We go on. We're irradiated plants, man. They just sort of suck. They don't ever really get better, do they? Actually, I've got irradiated here with well, Rich you, and Jen. If you... If you if you put a shield on it, then you you know then you can start fixing it up. But until you put a shield on it, yeah. Which one's terrible. that? The planetary radiation shield. You can use any shield actually. Um, planetary radiation shield is just the first one, but like you can use flux or whatever. Okay. So the the better defense shields inherently carry the same characteristics as the radiation shield. Okay. So. And it allows you to start what fixing the planet up. Yeah, it removes it removes the radiated status and changes it to barren. Cool. I guess I'll start doing that here and there. As it becomes available.
All right, I'm on the next turn. That's... Yeah, I'm going to try to send... Yeah, here we go. Wounded Destroyer, you have a mission. <laughs> it's very Nothing. important. Oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm there. No way. Battle at, in Battle at Antares, I'm there. Yeah. Oh, my lord, dude. What do they got? They have 55 ships. A Doomstar, 6 Titans, 10 Battleships, 15 Cruisers, 15 Destroyers, and 8 Frigates. What? Uh, so if you defeat that, you technically win the game? No, yeah, you win the game. What's the firepower and defense? You get an Antarian victory. Uh, it doesn't say. It just says my victory chances are terrible, so. I mean. Okay, now they have Death Rays. Um, their energy weapon accuracy is 56%. Okay. Um. Death Rays. Where is Death Rays? You have to get it from Orion. Oh, it's Orion that's tech. right. Bummer. Yeah. But yeah, we can. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh no! What? Okay. Oh my goodness! Herald of Antares, feeble creature, your hubris is now at an end. Crawl back to your specks of dust and cower. Nemesis comes, and its name is Antares. Okay, so now we're at war with them. Uh, and interdimensional transportation is out today. Okay, so uh, for a second there was a there was a Doom Star sitting right there, like in our space, and then now it's disappeared. So I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I I think we may have made a mistake. That might have been bad. That might have been bad. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. Next time. But since we're over, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we'll find out next time, folks. No, guys, no. No, no. Next time. All right, so hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal. He's about. We'll see you later.